Park, 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 and welcome back to Far Strider Plays. Today, we're we're not playing Skyrim. It, well, at least not yet. I might do that later. We'll see. Uh, also, sorry I didn't stream yesterday or tweet anything about it. Uh, just wasn't feeling it, so I took yesterday off from streaming. Park. Anyways, oh hey Tom Sisk, thanks for joining on YouTube. Which, while we're at it, is my prep is my platform of preference. So, I appreciate everybody who's following and subscribing on Twitch. In fact, do that. Um, I also appreciate everyone who's following along, watching, subscribing, friending, etc. on Facebook. By all means, do that. But whatever you do, please also make sure that you are over on the YouTubes subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like the videos, share it out, and turn on the notifications with that little bell. Click it, it'll go ding, and you know, then click it again and make sure that you get all notifications, not just some, because apparently YouTube's default is when you tell them you want notifications, they think you mean, well, I only sort of want notifications. So, yay! YouTube is wonderful. Oh, awesome! Bark! Hi, Loraz! Arf! Arr! Miss your muzzle. I wanna... Bark. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's just jump right into today. Today, we're playing Animal Crossing, and... Knock on fucking wood! My goddamn OBS is not fucking up right now. It's amazing! This worked before the stream, and I went to it, and, and it's it's still fucking working! And I haven't had to fuck with it. Oh my god, no way! Bark, this is amazing, I love it when things work. Um, anyways, welcome back to Puplandia. Bark, my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And, uh, you know, we're just, of course, wearing one of our Puplandia t-shirts. Uh, this morning we went with red and white and some basketball shorts that I found. I'd really like to design shorts in this game, but I don't know if that's a thing you can unlock at some point or not, but I haven't done it. Um, anyways, I've got this sweet bedspread. got this pretty cool room going on, a little cork board with my logo on it. You know, some fun music playing in the corner, a little map, you know. I was sitting at the desk because before I went live, I was doing schoolwork, so, you know, so was my character in AC, Bark. Also, um, really quick, while we let people uh, join the stream, before we get to our most insane crafting thing today, let's just review a few things that I wanted to touch on. Um, number one, first and foremost, here, let's go in here to get changed, but 
you know, we're not really going to change much. Um, anyways, hey, Matthew Faden and CVP, bark, bark, bark. Welcome to the stream on YouTube and Twitch, respectively. Um, <clears throat> so first, I want to call out Buttons and say thank you, Buttons, for the fucking awesome dog noses, Bark! He sent dog noses to me uh, that were available in his store, which is fucking rad! Look at that, that's so cute! And I don't just have it in black, he sent me the black, but he also sent me the white color. And the brown color. Oh my gosh, Bark! But, you know, I mean, our, our muscle is um, closest to black, so that's what I, I tend to wear. So we're going to stick with that. Um, I love these poses that you do when you're get, getting changed. I love it. Bark. Um, in addition to that, I also wanted to show a few other things that Button has sent us as gifts. Uh, Button sent us a couple of baby rompers. He sent us a green one and a blue one. And, oh my god, they're so fucking cute. Um, and as much as I love what Buttons has sent me, there's one of my residents, Bubbles, gave me this. And, oh my god, it is, like, my favorite outfit. I want to customize one, but I haven't found it in customizations yet. Anyways, Bark, uh, super cute. Um, also, Buttons sent us power suits. That's right, we could totes be Iron Pupper. <laughs> In blue or uh, red or green. So we can be Iron Pupper or like, you know, Iron Pupper more Far Strider-esque. Bark! Anyways, that's really cool. He also sent me this ro gold rose crown, which is like crazy extra. Almost as extra as the thing we're going to craft today. Uh, in fact, it does go with what we're going to craft today. But we're not going to wear that. We're going to wear our Far Strider hat. Because, you know... I'm Far Strider, and that's what we do here. Bark. Um, also, I found these tote sweet basketball shoes, which I love. Uh, and so we're actually, we're going to go and... Um, no, we're not going to do that today. We're going to... What are we going to wear today? We're going to wear our work boots, because we're going to be working. We're going to be doing some work. Uh, we're going to wear our black and white socks, because, you know, obviously, they, they just go... Um, it's warm out, so we're going to wear our shorts, bark, uh, you know, our outdoor shorts, bark, 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 mmm, look at that pose, mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. okay, that's all from this screen, bark, and then, of course, you know, we're not fully dressed, so we need to get fully dressed, and we're going to just pop over here, and, uh, it's too warm for a hoodie, but we're going to put on our far star cap, I love that colorway, and we're also, let's see, but this is so cute too. Um, put on our T. So we could do that one, or we could do that one. You know what? I'm going to do the green, because, I mean, hello. Although in real life, I'm wearing blue today. Bark! <laughs> uh, anyways, bark! There we go. We're all dressed and ready for the day. Bark. So let's head out of our room into our living room. And I'm going to give you just a quick little house tour while everybody's joining the stream still. Bark. And then we'll get right into what we're crafting today. Bark. And of course, you know, I've got music in every room. Uh, bark, 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 bark. Oh, uh, Matthew, you'll have to get a Switch someday when they're available again. Right now, I do not recommend it. Um, I super looked into it and uh people are just price gouging they want like 500 bucks for switch right now because no legit units are available so wait to buy a switch but do get one at some point super fucking fun um anyways this is my living room right now uh got a little cat tree thing and a cat bed and litter box and got this snow globe which really doesn't go but i thought it was kind of cute so i haven't put it in storage yet uh, we got, uh, here, I'll show you the, show you what's on our walls. We've got fish on that wall. I'm kind of just waiting to sell those. And then we've got a couple of, uh, uh, we got a mantis head and a wasp head on that wall, just because bark. And also, you know, our little first house rating, our little pendant thing, bark. Um, you know, speaking of our town right now, our town is a four-star town. 
Holy shit, it's crazy awesome. Bark, okay. But, I've got a third room! I just upgraded my house, and my third room? My third room is so cute. Ah, it's like a little room, bark! Ah, here, I want to go into this view so you can really see it. Oh my god, I made a little room. Bark! So I've got a little a little table there with my switch on it and an unfinished puzzle, a board game, and a little art studio. I've got a little rocking horse and a little clacker cart and a ring toss game and so many teddy bears. Oh my god. Uh, the Huspop sent me... Uh, I think he sent me uh, the brown one and this one. The mama bear fell out of a fucking tree yesterday, and I was like, holy shit, I love it. And then this one I found in my store, and then the Huspup, Daddy T's, also sent me the toy box. Oh my god, it's so cute. And then, of course, I made my little my little block toys. Bark. Uh, Ash, I soups need to visit your island, and in fact, we should make a whole episode about me visiting uh, your island, Mr. Tiger Dog. Bark. <clears throat> Bark, 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 bark. Oh, uh, yes. Bark. Oh, lucky pup chase. Bark. Yay. Anyway, so that's that's our house. A few new things. Um, of course, you know, wearing more Puplandia merchandise. I really wish I could make the hats. But my hat printing options only allow, like, a little logo, like, here. So I could not make that presently, so I'm not going to do hats, because I won't be satisfied with the outcome. Nor can I do color blocking, so, bark, not presently. Mm. I wish I could make hats, but there are t-shirts, and they're fucking awesome, and there's also other things, like hoodies and such and whatnot. Anyways, uh, so outside, we remodeled our house, we got a green roof instead of our black roof. We also remodeled our uh, mailbox, we got a nice little fancy green mailbox here. We've got a little garden gnome. It's super cute. A um, little morning coffee spot right here. You know, just get up, watch the, uh, is that a gift floating in over the horizon out there? The hell is that? Bark. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's weird when I don't have my camera flipped because I'm looking at the l top left side of the screen right now and it looks like I'm looking the opposite direction. It's very weird watching myself while I play. Anyways, oh, that's totes a gift. We're gonna have to go and shoot that down. Uh, clean up my beach a little bit while we're on our way over there. You know, let's just get our slingshot out. Hey, I wanted to kind of show you around the yard. Look, I got a little poolside uh, customized chair thing. Got my little yard, whoa. Ooh, that's worth money, too. I want you, Butterfly. Butterfly, I choose you. Bark. <laughs> it's like Butterfree, only way the fuck better. Uh, and worth more money. Bark. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. Also, got a little, little play area over here. Bark, it's cute. Uh, I need to get up there, though. So we're going to just have to cut the tour short and get going. Bark. Ooh, also... Uh, we'll come back to this, but I've got these little little tiles I, I designed and put down. Marking that as Far Strider's home. Uh, let's see here. Let's get across the river, though. Um, right now, I only have the sand pathways. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, no! God damn it. I hate when that happens. Oh, my pockets are full? Oh, drop it. Oh, let's put the sign back where it belongs. That's what I get when I don't empty my pockets. Let's see, where is the... Oh, God, I've got a lot of crap in my pockets that I just haven't... Uh, where? There it is. Plain wooden shop sign. Place it back. God damn it. Now it's all fucked up. Ugh. Ugh. Come over here. No! You stupid slingshot, go away. And there we go. Uh, how's that for... That's not centered. Is that centered? Yes. There we go. Okay. Pick up the present like we actually fucking wanted to. What did we get this time? A wood-burning stove. Fantastic! Because that's so necessary on a tropical island. Uh... Okay, then. Uh, Bark, so we've got a bunch of new residents since the last time I played. This one is Rowan. He's got a little orange R. 
uh, plate that I made him. Bark. Uh, is he not home? Oh, he's home. Bark. Um, Bark! Thanks, Cody Buttons! Bark! I was showing off everybody at the beginning of the episode all the cool stuff you sent me. The the uh, onesies and... Oh, I forgot to show them the pacifiers. And the power suits, the, uh, the Iron Man, so I could be Iron Pupper in red or green. So this is Rowan. Rowan's our tiger. Uh, my, my friend uh, Captain Ameripup would be totes jealous of this whole tiger theme room um, because he is a bit of a dog cat as well, much like Ash. Bark. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Welcome to my top secret hideout, Mango. He likes to call me Mango. Bark. <laughs> uh, let's just check in with him. Did you see that someone's going to move into the empty land? Yes, it's Olaf. He's an anteater, and I can't wait for him to move in. That'll be, like, tomorrow. Bark. Uh, we also got a new resident who did move in today. I love this record player, by the way. I want it. Bark. Uh, I like your house, bro. It's pretty cool. Um, anyways, he's a, even though he's eating a donut, he's also a bit of a muscle bro. Um, I have... Oh, god damn it. My fucking can who is calling me? I am streaming. Fuck you. God damn it. Let's see. Uh, uh, turn off notifications. See if that'll stop phone calls. What the fuck was that bullshit? Okay, what the hell, Cameron? Whoa. Uh, wow. Uh, let's... There we go. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. Fucking someone calling me while I'm goddamn streaming. God damn it. Bark. Okay, there we go. Camera fixed. <laughs> Bark. Um, okay, so that's Rowan, and now, now Cody... Uh, or buttons, bark. Um, I, I need to introduce everyone, but especially I need to talk to you about my next resident. Uh, my other new resident, Al, moved in. I didn't know who he was. He bought the property. I'd never met him before. And he said, I'm from Buttons Island. Buttons, I think I stole one of your residents. He said he was from your island. This is Al. Bark. He's another muscle bro. Uh, what's the latest, yo? Somebody moved here today. That's that's true. Uh, Octavian is cleaning house. Calm down. You're being too loud. Um, so, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Buttons. I, I don't know how I poached him from you. <laughs> but um, he seems to be happy here. Um, I really, I wish I could get some gym equipment like this, and this, and this, and this, that I could buy and put in my outdoor gym space that I've been making. Bark. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, and then I made a little uh, tile plate, of course, for him, a little A, and I, I went with kind of a pinkish color, because, I don't know, I wasn't, I didn't really want to give someone else another black color like mine, um, Farstrider gets black. Ha! Deal with it. Um, that's because the island color is green, so I'm not gonna give myself green. Anyways! Uh, also, we've got, uh, who, what's your name again? Chops. We've got Chops, and Chops is, um, extra. Chops is incredibly extra. Oh, he's building stuff again. Last time he was building stuff, he gave us a recipe that we're making today that may or may not be the most expensive thing in the game, but it is fucking insane what he gave me, and I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so what's he doing? What's he doing now? Let's see. What what can you teach me now? Uh, a wall rack. Uh, yeah, I'd love to learn about your iron wall rack. That is not very extra. Uh, oh, god damn it. I've got too much shit in my pockets. Uh, well, I'll remember to come back and talk to him later. Bark. Bye. Bye, chops. Anyways, he's a pig, and he's super extra. And let's just show you what he gave me. 
So what he gave me to craft is a wearable. He gave me gold armor. It takes eight gold nuggets to make this. Like, this is some fucking extra crazy shit. Who has a goddamn gold armor suit in Animal Crossing? Does it protect you against the sting of tarantulas? I don't know. Bark. But I have 10 gold nuggets. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to fucking make this today. Uh, but before we get to actually crafting that, let's let's finish the island tour. So I put in these paths and whatevs. Um, I say whatevs a lot now. Uh, and then, you know, I've got a little brick brick up thing here. I'm probably going to change the pathways in this area of the island to brick, uh, just because that's cute. Um, I need to make a pathway up here. Right now it's just heavily forested because I moved like all my trees over here, including a bunch of orange trees. Um, and then you can just go running around here. Bark, bark, bark. It's so cool. There's a river. Uh, scare the fish away because we're sprinting. Oh well. Bark, bark, bark. Uh, thanks, Buttons. Arf. Um, and then I've planted, like, a fuck ton of coconut trees all up and down my beaches because it's a goddamn tropical island, for fuck's sake. Oh, hey, Stu, what's up? Mru, what's the latest? Uh, I'm totally doing DIY stuff, but not with the shells. The shells are just worth some money. Uh, okay, bro, here we go. We'll get down to what's down below, uh, soon. Uh, but yeah, we got this little area up here. It's super cute, whatevs. Uh, we got this area. There's going to be a bridge here. I'm gonna do one of those rope suspension bridges, because it's kind of meant to be a, a more natural hiking-type area over there. Uh, down here, though, we're gonna do a wooden... Oh, that... That beetle's worth some money, but I don't want to chase it down right this second. We're going to do a wooden bridge, just the flat wooden one, because um, that'll look really cool. And uh, it, this is more the residential area. There's a home on the other side, which we'll go visit in a minute. That's Octavia's house. Uh, and this is where uh, Olaf, the anteater, is going to be moving in tomorrow. And I'm waiting to finish the path when he uh, moves in and I can see what uh, I want to do. Bark. Uh, thank you, Tyler Johnson. Bark, thanks for joining the stream on Facebook, by the way. Make sure you also check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash pupfarstrider. This is my camping area where I've also put a little, little stereo. I've got the volume down, but uh, I've got a little stereo here and a bonfire. It's a cute little camping area, Bark. Our little lake adjacent to the camping area. We've got an, a crafting station out here. Um... We've got a black pagoda that Gulliver gave us, uh, and so I made a fountain and matched the color, and a water fountain, and we've got a little park here. It's like a little rose park and fountain and stuff like that. So cute, park. Um, it's just our little strip of park there. And then down here, we've got what I want to turn into our outdoor gym. We've got this little colorful gym thing. We've got a little uh, height measuring thing here. Uh, a little, little exercise ball. A little exercise ball for a little bit of exercise time. You know, you get thirsty, you come over here, take a drink. Uh, here, let's not waste water. Uh, the bike just sits here and looks pretty because you, like, you can't ride it, so... That's a letdown. Uh, <laughs> and then we've got we've got a soccer field up here, Bark. And since the only ball I could find is a football, we have a football on it. Uh, but I'd really rather have a soccer ball out here, but I haven't been able to find a soccer ball yet, just footballs. And then, of course, we've got a little, little water fountain for, for the ballers, so that way, you know, they get thirsty, they could come have a drink, too. Uh not waste the water. There we go. Uh, not that it goes anywhere, but, you know, whatevs. Be responsible. Uh, anyways, here we go. I don't know why I'm picking stuff up. My pockets are full. Uh, and then we've got our little pier here with, you know, a little tourist thingy. Um, and then we've got our Tower of Pisa, our first gift from Gulliver. I'm kind of curious to see if I could customize it, but I also kind of like it as is. Um, 
little sand castle that Bubbles gave us, and when she gave us that, I was like, well, then I will get the sand box thing and put it next to it. And then this crappy chair fell out of a tree, but I was like, hey, that's like perfect for our little beach setup. So we've got this little cute beach setup here and a bit of a tree area. This is like the other park. Um, might clear out some of those trees eventually. Um, you know, just beachfront property here. Anyways, uh, that's this side of the island, which is meant to be more rustic. This bridge needs to get the fuck demolished. And after I build the one up above, this is getting demolished or replaced with the Zen Bridge, like the rest of our lower bridges. Hey, Deidre, what's up? You again. I've talked to her a lot today, but she loves me, so it's all good. Uh, hey, maybe I'll give her some of the shit that's in my pockets. Uh, what do I got that I could give her? I could totes give her... Uh... Oh, you know what? She likes reading. Maybe I should give her the book stands. Let's give her the book stands. Here you go. Take that, bitch. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Ha! Woo! Yep, she loves me. That's why she loves me. Bark. Thick stripes shirt. I was trying to unload stuff from my, uh... I was trying to unload stuff from my pockets, girl. Um, anyways, she's got a little door plate, too. I made her a little uh, D for Deidre um, in gray to kind of match her coloration. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Just in time before it went... Oh, god damn it. I have to drop something. Is there something I could just let go that's not worth money? Of course not. God damn it. I don't know what those are. Uh, here, I've only got two weeds. Let's just swap for the weeds for now. And wait, we get, wait, we get. I really need to empty my goddamn pockets, don't I? Young royal shirt. That sounds extra. <laughs> um, anyways, down here we've got Goldie's house. Goldie is that cute dog over there. And since she's a yellow lab kind of dog, I also made her plaque a little bit yellow like her. Bark, hey, what's up, Goldie? Aw, you like me too. Uh, you're a worry wart. Um, bark. <laughs> and everybody, everybody on the island, I need to make some for, uh, for uh, Olaf's place, but everybody's got the little uh, Puplandia flag symbol on a little sign out in front of their house area. And then I made a little custom plate here in the Puplandia flag style for Nook and Cranny, NC. Uh, when you come off the plane here, though, this is where you come... Oh, there's Fribbit. He's got a cute little plate. Um, I made this massive plate here. This is four individual tiles that each form a piece of the flag logo. Bark. This game is super fun and interesting, Tyler. It's it's kind of like Sims meets SimCity meets um, Viva Pinata meets um, Ark without dinosaurs. It's like Minecraft, only much more fun and interesting. <laughs> Bark, we've got our little center here, our flag up there, of course. Um, We've got the sister's shop coming in here, hence I made a cyst plaque there for him. Bark. Uh, we've got a little trash can that I hid behind everything back here. Can I push you more out of the way? Nope. Okay. And then I made a little M plaque for the museum. Uh, we've got our little pathways over here. Down the middle, we've got this cool, like, area and then a, a outdoor pool thing. Um... We've got our other, our last few residence houses down here. We've got Bubbles' house. She's got a cute pink bee. Kind of matches the drapes in her house. Uh, and we've got Stu's house. He's got a blue house and like blue drapes, so he got a little S plaque for Stu. Bark! Um, anyways, so that's kind of the town. Hey, Fribbit, what's up? Uh, and then our Zen bridge. Oh, I can't wait to replace that crappy log bridge with this. Oh, it'll look so much better. Um... 
And then we've got uh, our little, this is our little leisure island area. We've got our orchard here. I picked everything yesterday, so it's gonna be a day or two before those regrow, uh, the fruit. Um, but we've got two orange, two apple, two cherry, two peach, two uh, pear trees. Um, and then we've got our little table here with the Puplandia flag on it, a couple of seats, and then a natural tree that I cut down for a seat. Uh, tiki torches all around, a couple of campfires. We've got these cute little lounging chairs. Of course, branded with the Puplandia flag bark. I should really make a Puplandia flag uh, product to sell on Teespring. I think I'll be doing that next. Um, ooh, do I have happen to have any uh, hedges? Stone fencing! Ooh! Might as well just, you know, make these sides match right now. Bark. Anyways, uh, yeah, there we go. Now they match. Yay! Woo! Um, eventually, there's going to be a bridge here because uh, I'd like to bridge that. And then over here, I'm going to put a bridge as well. Um, now that I, I was able to terraform, I spent a fuck ton of money getting the ability to, or, well, miles to terraform stuff. Uh, but now it's wide enough I can put my bridges where I wanted them originally. Uh, then you come up a little stone walkway up here. We've got some fruit trees that are growing up here. Uh, the other side of that bridge that we're working on financing. Um, and then we've got Octavio's house. Octavian, Octavio, what's his name? What is his name? He is Octavian. Okay. Um, cool. So Octavian's house, I made him a little red oak plaque. Uh, and, of course, let's go just say hi, even though he's busy cleaning house, getting ready to move, finish moving in. You better unpack, bro. It's been all day. He looks like an angry octopus, but he's actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Bark, you are awesome. Uh, here, let's encourage him. And let's clap for him. And let's say we're pleased. Bye! Yay, he seems happy. Yay. <laughs> Bark, but yeah, he's got his own private little island uh, space up here, and then uh, Olaf's gonna have his private little space above the campsite. Um, anyway, so that's the island. I've been doing a fuck ton of work on it, and uh, uh, I tweeted at Nintendo the other day from my husband's game. You cannot snap on an angle pathways. So like. Where over here, the pathway, it marries up to the bridge and it looks all nice. When it's on an angle, you get these fucking annoying grass spots. So I tweet at Nintendo like, hey, can y'all like patch the game so that it can snap to a angled edge? Because that would be great. That'd be really great. We'd all really appreciate it looking, you know, the way it's supposed to. Um, anyways, so Bark, that's really cool. But... But let's uh, let's get on with what we're freaking doing today. Um, and there's my little plate, Far Strider. I get two because I'm special and I have two entrances to my massive property, unlike everybody else. But I mean, I build everything on the island, so fuck those people. I get everything. Okay, so first we gotta come in here and we gotta empty out our goddamn pockets because I forgot to do that before the stream. Bark, thanks, Tyler. Bark. So, okay, let's empty our pockets. We'll just make quick work of this. Put in storage, put in storage. I haven't even checked most of those things out yet. Um, put, I don't even know what those look like or that. Oh, whatever. That's close enough to storage. Uh, I mean, it's stored in the house, so that works. Young Royal shirt. Uh, I'm curious, but that's not the point of today's show. Let's uh, just... Okay, that's that's plenty of space. Um, that's more than enough space than we need. And so, okay, so we're building that, that extravagant, ridiculous gold thing. And we're going to move our gold nuggets into our pocket. We've got ten of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, here, let's... We only need eight, so let's not go overboard and let's also not forget to put stuff back in storage okay so eight of these now i want to do a couple of things real quick 
First, I want to run over to Nook and Cranny, and I want to see how much they would pay for eight gold nuggets. Because I'm just going to be curious whether that gold suit that we're going to craft, the suit of armor, makes this more valuable or less valuable. So let's just see. Uh, eight gold nuggets. How much would they pay us for them? We're not going to actually sell them. Uh, so, if we were to sell that, how much would you pay us? Uh, 80,000. Yeah, did you know they offer more money in the store than at their Dropbox? Bark, I, I think that might have been in some information before, but, uh, I missed it. Uh, I'm gonna pass. We're not selling today. Yeah, I'm sure. Although 80,000 does sound really nice. I think that might pay for the rest of our bridge up in the <laughs> up above the, uh, you know, between Octavian and Olaf's houses, um, Bart. But OK, so we did that. We checked our checked out the value. 80,000 bells for eight nuggets. But instead, we're going to craft some shit. This, I don't know what the most expensive thing in the game is. I haven't looked it up. But this eight nuggets to make this one fucking wearable item seems pretty extravagant to me. Seems pretty extra. Seems pretty goddamn expensive. 80,000 bells expensive. Let's do it. Let's fucking go for broke. Holy shit, we made it. We made some gold armor. Oh, we don't want to keep crafting. Okay, we made the gold armor. Holy crap. We made it. Ooh. Let's check it out. Oh my god. That is the most ridiculous fucking thing I have ever seen. And that's saying something in this game. It's also much more functional than I would have thought. <laughs> but does it protect you against stings from uh, critters that sting? Probably not. Uh, but I mean, I might, I might be willing to test that out at some point. But uh, let's see if we could get in here for a, a, a better, a better look here. Uh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, it's got a nice seam down the middle, everywhere. That's just lovely. Wait, wait, listen to that. Oh my god, there is there is a sound effect for this suit that makes it sound like the pieces of metal are clanking together. That is fucking rad! Props to this game! Props to them for this. Holy shit, we're missing a, a package. Oh. Uh, too far. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. What did we get? What did we get? Did we get a gold suit of armor that we wouldn't have had to make? A refrigerator. Which, if you open a refrigerator, you can change your clothes. Yeah, it's a butterfly. This is just a blue bottle, though. It's not worth enough for me to bother catching it right now in the moment. Uh, but, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's... Put our put our proper clothing back on and let's go see how much the dudes at Nook and Cranny, the naked twins as I like to call them, would pay for our eighty thousand dollar suit of gold armor. Will they pay us eighty thousand? Will they pay us less? Will they pay us more? The people want to know, and by people I mean me. <laughs> I wanna know if I just like wasted a fuck ton of money or not. You got the DIY to make a gold toilet? How many nuggets does that cost, Buttons? Bark. Okay, naked twins. And I call them the naked twins, because look at what they're wearing. And there's nothing in the back. So, like, they are not Instagram appropriate. Bark. <laughs> okay, so you were offering us 80k bells for our eight nuggets. How much would you offer for this? Some gold armor. 80,000 bells. Okay, well, it didn't decrease the value 
of the materials, but it didn't increase it. So we literally we lost money on this because we didn't get paid for our time in crafting it or in collecting the gold, uh, the extra time in collecting gold. Uh, there's some labor cost in there, boys. There's some labor cost in there. Six. So the armor is still more expensive than that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. I kind of want to hang on to this because I want to wear it and make a scorpion island and see if uh, see if it protects me against stings. Last night, FYI, I came out of Nook and Cranny and I started going this way, and a scorpion came from nowhere, just like round, right around, right around from the back of Nook and Cranny around, and stung me right here. Before I could even, I was like, "What the fuck is? Oh my god, it's a scorpion!" I was like, what the hell? All I did was come out of the shop and triggered it, apparently. <laughs> Bark. Um, but this little spot here, I love this. This is four design tiles to make that big of a flag on the ground. Bark. And I think that is so cool. Arf. Bark, bark, bark. Because the normal tile size... This is how big the tiles are. So I had to split that into four pieces and design each one manually to make a nice big giant. And I love that it's seamless. It's so cool. Bark. Um, anyways, yay, Bark. I love these little door plates. Robert's house, Stu's house, Bubbles' house, nobody's home. Bark. What, what have we got going on? Nothing. Is there something over here? Oh, some friends are online. Oh, who's online? I didn't want to go in there. Who's online? Who's online right now? Uh, oh, Buttons is online. Bark. Tirnanog. Uh, yeah, which is where Al defected from and came to Puplandia. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that was the plan for today's episode. I wanted to make that crazy-ass suit of armor just to see what the hell we were dealing with. Um, here, let's pick that up before we forget. Uh, and, and yeah, and, oh, hey, Buttons, in case you missed it, I want, I want to show you what everybody saw at the beginning of the stream. My littles room that I made. I know you have one, and I totes need to see it, but check this out. Check this out. Bark! Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. And I got a mama bear, and I got three baby bears, a toy chest, and two wooden block toys, and a switch, and a play table, and chair, and all this cuteness. Oh my god, I love it. The only thing I don't really love is the bell bag um, rug. But, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is, Bark. Also, I, I definitely need to get a stereo in here. Um because there's, there's no music in here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I need to, need to have a little music in here. Bark. But we got our little our learning poster on the wall for the alphabet. You know, got to learn my ABCs, one, two, threes. And bark. Yay! Thank you, Buttons. Arf. Thank you, Matthew. Bark. Um, I do like this orange rug, but it doesn't feel like a, a little kid's rug, so I need a different rug. I need to find a different rug. I haven't been visited by the rug camel lady. My husband's been visited by her a couple of times, but I haven't been visited by her yet, so we have to get to that at some point, hopefully. Mark. <clears throat> Anyhow, that is what we were doing today. Um... But yeah, so that's uh, that's our episode for today. Bark. Uh, we made the crazy, ridiculous suit of armor, um, and we actually didn't have any technical, like major technical issues, except for when my phone got a phone call from some asshole who apparently doesn't know that I'm streaming right now. God damn it! Uh, it was probably just a junk junk call, anyways. Um, but, uh, oh, that, I think that's what my husband got, was a, a purple rug. Bark. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so we made the crazy suit of gold. It's worth 80,000 bells. Holy bark! Uh, I might test it later and see if I can survive a scorpion sting in it. Because, I mean, it's a suit of armor. So, does it protect you? I'll find out and report back. Uh, but, anyways, that's our show for today. 
that's uh, that's really all I've got. And I'm Pup Far Strider. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks, Wolfric, for subscribing just before the stream started today on Twitch. Supes appreciate that. Uh, and for everybody, just to recap whoa, what we talked about at the beginning of the show. Hmm. Oops, my light was in the shot. Oh, well. Bark. <laughs> um, super appreciate everybody following me on Twitch and Facebook. But I would super appreciate even more if you head on over to youtube.com slash pupfarstrider and subscribe to the channel over there. Uh, you'll find not only the gaming content, but you'll find a fuck ton of other videos that I've uploaded. And there will be other videos as well that aren't gaming streams on that channel. Uh, this has been Farstrider Plays Animal Crossing. Is that the most expensive thing in the game? I don't know, but it was pretty fucking expensive at 80,000 bells. I'm Pop Far Strider. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Far Strider Plays, probably killing some motherfuckers in Skyrim. Bark, 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 bark! <laughs>